Alright, here's some additional help on lesson 107 where we have our number word problems, okay? So you're always going to have three types of equations at this point. You're going to have your number in the tens place plus your number in the units place. The sum of them is going to equal some number, okay? Then you're going to have what your original number is, which is clearly 10 times the number that's in the tens place plus 1 times what is in the units place, right? Pretty logical, all right? Then you're going to have the new number, or what they're going to call it is, at this point, if you've reversed. And of course, you know, I struggle spelling, right? Reversed. And so we're just going to reverse the tens and the units number, okay? So it's going to be 10 times the units number plus 1 times the tens number. So looking at number 3, problem number 3, on page 441, all right? It says, the sum of the digits of a two-digit counting number is 13. So the sum, actually number three says, the sum of the digits is 15. So if I add the digit in the tens place to the digit in the units place, it equals 15, all right? And it says that the digits were reversed, the new number, this new number, the new number was 9 greater than the original number. Alright? So what do I have? The new number is 10 times the units plus 1 times the 10. The original is what? 10 times the 10's number plus 1 times the unit. And it's, it's 9 greater. Alright? So I'm always going to have units and tens, two variables. I'm always, always, always going to go back to this first equation. Solve for tens or units and substitute in. Solving for tens by subtracting u on both sides equals 15 minus the units number. So I will substitute this in for the tens. So I have 10 times the unit plus 15 minus the unit equals... 10 times 15 minus the unit, right? That was for my 10s, plus the unit plus 9. These end up being long equations, right? All right, so I can combine my units on this side. So it's 9 units plus 15 equals, I'll distribute my 10 to both 15 and u. So that's 150 minus 10u plus u plus 9. Now I'll combine my units on this side. And that's negative 9u. And I'll combine my 9 and my 50. And that's positive 159. 159. So it's 159 minus 9u equals 9u plus 15. All right. I'm going to move my u's to the left by adding 9u to both sides. And I'll subtract 15 on both sides. My u's cancel out here, 15's cancel out there, and I'm left with what? 144 equals 18u. Dividing 144 by 18, and I don't know what I, I get 144 divided by, let's get my calculator just a minute. Pause. 144 divided by 18 is 8. All right, so my unit's number is 8, okay? If my unit's number is 8, then my 10's number has to be 7, right? Because they have to add it to it. So my, what is my number? 78. All right, so now let's think about it. All right, the new number... Let me erase all of this here. The new number is when I reverse them, right? 87. The original number is 78. Do I have to add 9 to get to 87? Yes, it works. Okay? Now, 
Now I want to go back. So this is the key here to know you're going to have this equation. Your original one is 10 times the tens number plus 1 times the unit. The new one, we reverse that. Okay? All right. Now, going back to lesson 105. Factoring by regrouping. I would like to work number 27 on page 440. All right? This is not in your homework. But it's 2x squared plus 13. I'm sorry, this is z. I changed that x to a z. 2z squared plus 13z plus 15 equals 0. All right? So now a is 2, b is 13, c is positive 15. First, I do my little x. At the very top of the x, it's a times c, and the bottom is just the b coefficient. All right, so this is 2 times 15, which is 30, and I do take into consideration my um, signs. All right, b is 13. All right, so now here are going to be the factors of 30. Such that if I multiply them, I get positive 30. I add them, I get positive 13. Okay? All right. So, 10 times 3, that's what it's going to be. 10 times 3 is 30. 10 plus 3 is 13. All right? Now, I write my, I, I draw my box, right? I write the first term here, 2z squared. I write my... Last term here, 15. Got it? Now here I write this with a Z, 10Z, and then this one, 3, with a Z, taking into consideration my signs. My signs matter in the second box. The first box is always going to be positive. Okay? Then I look at these two and I ask, what would be the greatest common factor of 10Z and 2Z squared, so it's 2 Z. Goes into both of those. Then what about 15 and 10 Z? 5 is the greatest common factor. And it's positive because this is a positive. Okay? Then I look at the greatest common factor between 3 Z and 2 Z squared. It's just Z. Alright? Then 3 Z and 15, that's 3. Here are my factors. It's going to be 2 Z plus 3 times z plus 5. And I can check it. Remember, the product of my extremes plus the product of my means equals this middle number. I must get 13z. So that's 10z plus 3z is 13z. All right, let's work one more. Okay. Let's work on that same page, page 440. Let's work one with a negative sign. Let's work 30. Number 30. All right, number 30 says negative 11a plus 15 equals negative 2a squared. All right, I must have it in the standard quadratic form. So three terms equal to zero. So I'll add 2a squared on both sides. And I have 2a squared minus 11a plus 15 equals zero. I didn't solve for x on the last one. I will solve for x on this one. Okay? Alright. A times C up top. 2 times 15 is 30. And B is negative 11. Now, I want factors of 30 such that if I multiply them, I get a positive 30. I add them, I get a negative 11. It's going to be negative 5 and negative 6. Okay? Now, writing my 2a squared here, my 15 here, negative 5a, I almost wrote x, <laughs> negative 6a. First two sets, going to be positive. What is common between, greatest common factor here is just a. 
here is negative 5, right? Negative 5 goes into both 5 and 15. This one is going to be 2a because 2a goes both into 6a and 2a squared. Between 6, okay, 3 goes into 6, 3 goes into 15, so it's going to be negative 3. Here's my factors. I have a minus 3 times 2, a minus 5, set it equal to 0. I'll check, make sure I get negative 11a is my middle term. I do get 2a squared. I do get positive 15. All right, so that would be my extremes is negative 5a minus 6. I do get negative 11. So let's check. How do I solve? Set both the terms equal to 0. For this one, a, for it to be 0, a would have to be 3. There's one of my answers. For my second answer, I set 2a minus 5 equal to 0. Add my 5 on both sides, 2a equals 5, dividing by 2, a equals 5 halves. I have two answers, and I expected two answers, why? Because the degree of the equation is 2. Alright, see you guys Tuesday.